to the election campaign details now on day three of the federal campaign. And we're going to go straight to our reporter, John O'Doherty, who is on the campaign trail. John, good morning to you. What's happening? Hi, Amelia. Well, Tony Abbott's kicked off day three of the campaign here in Adelaide with a trip to Bickford's, a soft drink and cordial manufacturer. Tony Abbott's had a walk around the factory and a chat with some of the workers, and he's used the visit as an opportunity to make his first major policy announcement during the election campaign, and that is that he wants to cut the corporate tax rate by 1.5% from 30% to 285 from July 2015. Now, this would cost around $5 billion, but it wouldn't actually benefit the majority majority of Australian businesses because most Australian businesses aren't actually companies. Nevertheless, Tony Abbott says that it will boost jobs and strengthen the economy. Here's a little bit more about what he had to say just a short time ago. Reduced company tax will result in more econo economic activity and more economic activity. It will be good for jobs, it will be good for prosperity and ultimately it will be good for government revenue. But one of the big questions about this announcement today, just like many of the announcements the Coalition has made in recent weeks, is where is the money coming from? Tony Abbott says uh, that savings will be found in the budget, but what are those savings? What expenditure will be slashed to find them? Joe Hockey says all will be revealed in the coming weeks before September 7. Amelia. All right, John, thank you very much for that update. And meantime, Kevin Rudd has attacked the Coalition's economic credentials, claiming they simply don't understand the cost of living pressures. Nine's Jane Azapati is in Canberra for us. Morning, Jane. Take us through what the Prime Minister's had to say. Well, he spent his morning in Sydney, Amelia. He started in New South Wales' most marginal seat of Greenway, visiting a school there, and he's moved on uh, to the electorate of Bennelong. Uh, he's been talking about education reforms, particularly before and after school care, linking it back to that cost of living issue. Uh, he has... Uh, really hit on the coalition today for this promise. Where is the money going to come from? He wants to know what services they're going to cut. Labor has also raised questions about whether the GST is in the mix. Have a listen to what Mr Rudd had to say. I want to know when Mr Abbott is going to put out there for everyone to see what he will cut in jobs and health and education to fund the figure which Mr his Treasury spokesman has himself used a $70 billion shortfall. The goods and services tax increase seems to be the hidden part of the agenda. And Jane, there's been some embarrassment for the Deputy Prime Minister. What's that about? Yes, Amelia, he's been photographed having a beer, which doesn't sound like a, a very big sin in itself, but when you look at who he was having a beer with, you can understand the questions. Uh, he had a beer yesterday with the former Labor MP, the former the scandal-plagued former Labor MP Craig Thompson. Uh, it's a grainy photograph, but that definitely is the Deputy Prime Minister. He's laughed this off today. He says, no big deal. Uh, have a listen to what he had to say. Hold the front page. Alba likes a beer after work. It was one beer. We were there for about 10 minutes. Uh, the fact is, as Leader of the House, I talk to a whole range of, uh, of people uh, all the time. Uh, that's what I've had to do as Leader of the House. I'll give you a big scoop. I've had a beer and been to the footy with Joe Hockey as well. Now, the Coalition isn't laughing this off, as you can imagine. They're suggesting that uh, Anthony Albanese was perhaps making deals with Craig Thompson over his electorate of Dobell. Uh, Anthony Albanese has denied that. He says he's just thankful the photographer got his best side. Amelia? <laughs> All right, Jane, thank you so much for that. And the big question we're asking today, do you support the Coalition's proposed 1.5% company tax cut? Share your thoughts with us on Twitter. You can use the hashtag youdecide9 or go to youdecide.9msn.com.au and make your vote count.